Today you will learn what over and under fitting means. Let's get right into it. When training a regression model, it's all about minimizing the errors. So the distance between our single data points displayed here and the regression line, which tries to capture the trend in our data as good as possible. When doing a linear regression, for instance, we want our model to look like the following. What you can see here is a model that captures the general trend of our data really well. Meaning that even though there could be a model which could give us a smaller distance between the single data points displayed here and the regression line, the model displayed here is suitable as it fits well to our training data and captures the general trend. This is enormously important for new data. Say you want the model to predict an output for a new input value which is currently not in our data set. Then the line displayed above would predict a suitable output for our input value since it will follow the general trend it knows from the training data. But what about overfitting though? The more we fit our model to the training data, the better it will capture all of our data points, as you can see in the graph. Meaning that the distance between our single points and our model will get as small as possible after time. This might look suitable, but keep in mind that there might be some noise, so data which travels out of the regular pattern, and we will capture all these points as well. If we now want to capture the output for new input values, we could never tell how the line would go on. The new output values won't be reliable. This is because the model learned too much from our training data. In the end, this means that if our model does not capture the dominant trend, it can't predict the suitable output for new input values which it has never seen before. Our goal should always be to find the trend, but do not fit all the data points from the training set with our model. Because after all, what use is a model that has learned very well from the training data, but still can make reliable predictions for new input values? But what about underfitting on the other hand? We want the model to learn from the training data, but we don't want it to learn too much, so to learn too many patterns. One solution could be to stop the training earlier. However, this could lead the model to not learn enough patterns from the training data and possibly not even capture the dominant trend. This case is called underfitting. So underfitting is the case where the model has not learned enough from the training data, resulting in low generalization and unreliable predictions. But what is the right measure in the end? Depending on the model at hand, a performance that lies between overfitting and underfitting is more desirable. This trade-off is one of the most important aspects of machine learning models. Machine learning models fulfill their purpose when they generalize well. And generalization itself is bound by the two undesirable outcomes, so high bias and the high variance. Detecting whether the model suffers from either one is the sole responsibility of you as a model developer. Thanks a lot to watch this video till the end. If you like this content, make sure to leave a like or subscribe to my channel as I will upload videos regularly on Sundays.